Greetings wonderful people, my name is Ivan, and just recently I've managed to drastically improve my game's performance on PS Vita. Grizzant used to run at 10 to 15 FPS on that platform and now it works at desired 60 frames per second. In this tutorial series I will show you how to achieve similar results. First and foremost, let's discuss the most popular script, disable everything but one region. Being able to disable all the objects which are not being used at the moment is extremely useful, especially if your play area is as huge as mine. The idea is pretty simple. You deactivate all the objects in the game and only activate ones in your camera view with a little offset. It is a great method and the most efficient first step to reaching higher FPS values if you haven't done that already. If you are using Unity and want to achieve a similar effect, I suggest you to read documentation about On Became Visible event along with Occlusion Calling. Since Grizzland was made in Game Maker, I want to add a few tips from my experience. First of all, most likely you have some controller objects in your game, like Music Player or Screenshot Taker, and they are not always inside the camera view. Thus you will either need to put the scripts onto the camera or activate their objects separately. If you decide to activate a lot of objects one by one, which is very performance heavy, I recommend you to parent them to one Activate Me object instead. Activating this Activate Me object will also activate all of its children, which drastically improved my game's performance for some reason. Another important thing to consider are mechanics like respawning, teleportation and anything else which may change camera position much faster than usual. In these situations, I suggest you to activate some small area around your destination before performing required action. And of course, don't forget that in probably every possible case, there is no need to run such a heavy function every frame, which is something we shall discuss in an upcoming video on this channel. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more concise and practical game optimization tips, and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.